An Instagram prankster lit off fireworks in a Florida Dollar Tree on the 4th of July, then realized it was probably not the best idea. Hey, you're watching What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. Dugang 3 x has 186,000 followers on Instagram, though following the fireworks stunt, his account has now been set to private. Hey, bitch, it's 4th of July. Yeah. And bitch, we about to go pop some firecrackers in the stove. Dugang uploaded the video to Instagram, though it doesn't appear to be an effective prank. An employee can be seen pretty much ignoring him. At the end of the video, he realizes that setting off fireworks next to a big cardboard box is a recipe for disaster, so he tries to get it out of the way. That leads to some bad shit. Although, maybe it could be even a bigger viral video. A tweet from at Cosette Marie says, they just lit up a whole bunch of fireworks at the Dollar Tree next to the falls. That said, Miami-Dade County Fire Rescue was unable to confirm if the fire department was dispatched to the Dollar Tree or if Cosette Marie's tweet was related to the Dugang incident. According to Miami-Dade police, however, Dugang was gone by the time they showed up and they're looking for him as he could face arson-related charges. Better not upload anything to Snapchat or Insta Story because that is just an easy way to find people. But he seems stupid, so he'll probably do that. Dugang himself seems to be good-humored about his antics. I love these social media stars who do some really dumb stuff, but they're like really proud of it. So they're like promoting all the people making fun of them. He retweeted an article from the Miami New Times that called him, quote, an extremely low-rent version of YouTube prank stars such as Jake and or Logan Paul. Now that deserves a reward. Like the reward for dumb pranksters who try to be like other dumb pranksters. Okay, his reward is that he should be verified on Instagram because that is like a big deal. One of this guy's other videos shows him pretending to have a seizure in a Little Caesars. Oh my God! Ah! What the fuck you mean? Ah! Ah! And there's this one where he blasts an air horn inside of an Arby's. Okay, please don't give this guy a verified Instagram. One of the hallmarks of his videos is how the employees in these places routinely ignore him as he's pulling these pranks. My guess is he's just doing them all the time and they know it's no big deal. Don't you fucking stop! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Do your thing, little Julia! One of his most common pranks is the Where's Chris Challenge, which he performed in several of his first YouTube videos. That prank involves going into public places and pretending to have lost his son, Chris. Chris! Chris! <laughs> what the f are you doing in Victoria's Secret, Chris? Right now, he still has fewer than 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, so he's probably focusing on his far more robust Instagram audience. So what do you guys think? Is Dugang the next Paul brother? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.